Solution number two addresses the problem of leaky people. Yep, you heard me right. Leaky people. Communication is the most crucial and most overlooked responsibilities of leadership. It reminds me constantly of this story of the wife who said to her husband, how come you never tell me you love me anymore? To which he responds, I told you when we got married, if anything changes, I'll let you know. And that's pretty much how leaders seem to handle their responsibility of taking care of this very real problem of leaky people. Because leaky people will result in a mediocre organization. Our communication is probably more confusing and siloed than we like to think. George Bernard Shaw uh, is quoted as saying, the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that communication has actually, actually taken place. Usually it's just simply missing. We tend to spend too much time updating talking about things that have little to do with why. And the why is the most important thing that leaders can do. The role of the leader is to share vision and passion because people leak. And the thing that people leak most is vision and passion. So we don't share the why. We get trapped in sharing about everything else and all the things we want to do. And we talk about goals, but we don't talk about the why. And we may share vision annually or quarterly, but we have to share it daily and in fresh new ways. The role of the leader is to fill up leaky people with vision and passion. When you do that, and if you've hired good people, they will take that vision and passion and do amazing things. If you don't do it, what you will get is mediocrity. People leak. People leak vision. People leak passion. One of the things that they leak the most in this vision and passion thing is the energy that will be that results in them moving forward and the organization as well. So it's your responsibility to keep them full. I think this happens sometimes because we neglect or ignore the fact that our people are uh, really working on empty because we ourselves have probably not given a lot of time to think about why we are doing what we are doing. It's just kind of trapped in our own cycles. It's not that you don't want to communicate. You've already said it once. Can't they remember it? You see, this is why it is so important for leaders to clearly communicate the why. People leak. Now, take a thought about your own personal situation. How often have you been communicating the why and the passion for that why to your people? Have you done it quarterly? Do you do it consistently? Do you do it in one-on-one -on -one conversations? And do you always find a way in a group conversation to talk about that important thing that you're doing and why you're doing it? How important is the why to you? I'm sure it is. And how important have you made the why to your people? Take time in the project area to think about that. If this is an area where you think you've been falling down, and where mediocrity may have slipped into your organization. Take some time and, and jot down some ways that you can share and refill those people around you. Notes, phrases. What can you do that can create this culture that will move people forward and fill them with the same passion and energy that they had when they started and when they listened to the vision that you've been casting.